Strolling started as a, a conversation that I had with a student here at William & Mary. Uh, the young lady had inquired about my fraternity letters uh, on a shirt that I was wearing and I informed her that my shirt was Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated and she inquired, what is that? And I said, it's the first black intercollegiate uh, fraternity in the country. And she said, I had no idea that there were black fraternities. And I said, yeah, there's black fraternities and sororities. And the fact that she didn't know uh, about that, I saw it as an opportunity to go ahead and turn part of the library into a teaching tool. And that's how this exhibit came to be. This was my duck that I had to wear every day. Um, my number was number one because it was only two of us. And 82 was the year. And this is my, um, my name, Batgirl. And we're called the dynamic duo um, because she was girl wonder. My senior year high school uh, went to the accepted students overnight program. And Dean Hardy would have uh, events and, 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 and activities set up for uh, black students who were admitted. And, uh, and there was uh, the Black Greek uh, step show. And so I, I went to the show and I, I remember the alphas, there were about uh, six alphas on the yard at the time and, and they stepped and you know, I was close in. I, it's now on TV, uh, they, they, I was right there. It, it was amazing. I conducted oral histories uh, with members of each of the groups that have had chapters on campus and purposely put QR codes throughout the exhibit to make sure that individuals were able to not only hear my words, but hear the words of the individuals who were William & Mary alum and students here so they can learn from their experiences and see where the university was and where it is now. It was sophomore year and one of my friends who would eventually become my line sister, she was like, hey, um, yeah, so the sorority is coming, they wanted to do an interest meeting, you should come with me. And I was like, eh, no. She was like, oh, well, they're going to have food. And I was like, okay. I just brought it back to William & Mary when I saw, saw that they did have AKAs. I was like, wow, like this is, this is definitely what I want to be a part of. They had the values that I want, the community, they were actively involved, um, the females, the women that were in the sorority, they held themselves up to a high standard that I saw myself in, and I saw myself fitting in there perfectly. This exhibit has been more of a homecoming for some of the people who have uh, participated. A lot of them have not been back on campus in some time, and having them come to campus for the oral histories uh, have pretty much brought them into the fold. It, it's brought this resurgence again and this interest from alums uh, from different backgrounds to come back to campus and not just to donate any, anything financially, but to donate time and experience. And I believe that experience is the best teacher. And through the oral histories that have been collected, I realize that we have learned a lot from the voices of those individuals.